We've put together an audio-visual marketing course for you that will bring you up to date on all the new ways to sell your photos on the Internet right from your home or office. Here's this week's excerpt. In this excerpt from Chapter 16 of my marketing course for stock photographers, I show you how to build the marketable photo. And building the marketable photo. So we'll have some case studies here. Let's dissect some good examples of marketable photos and discover what thought was put into them and just how they were assembled. Remember, we are making pictures, not taking them. Okay, in this course, I hope that I'm convincing you that you should be using your talent and photography skills to get your photos published in books, magazines, textbooks, coffee table books, and graphic art projects. Most publishing houses have a photography budget of $20,000 to $75,000 per month. A few of the major publishers have a budget of $150,000. That's a, that's a month, not a year. Most photographers resist going into stock photography because they've heard stories about regional and state publications that will pay only $50 or $75 per photo. They've heard other stories where an ad agency paid $750 for a stock photo. In my experience, I've seen this happen over and over again. The commercial stock photographer makes a sale for $750, but to do it, he tramps the streets with portfolio in hand, spending plenty of dollars on taxis, phone calls, interviews, lunches out, emailing potential buyers until he makes that sale. On the other hand, the editorial stock photographer hooks up with a publisher whose specialty matches the same specialty he has. Let's say it's uh, college-aged youth engaged in typical college scenes ranging from dorm study to social situations, vacation time, and family life. There are many publishing houses that produce material in this environment. Many times the publisher will buy four or five photos in a series. Other houses will buy as many as ten at a time. At uh, $75 each, that adds up easily to $750. And that could be done not from one publishing house, but a number of them. And this selling activity is all done from the ease of a home office. I'm going to show you a variety of marketable photos and show you how they were made, not taken, as usually happens in photos by photographers who are just starting out or starting over in stock photography. Well, sunflowers. You see them everywhere here in this photo. This may have won a prize at a local camera club, but it's a marketable photo, it fails. Why? The law of supply and demand. A photo researcher could go to any of the 150, 175 online micropayment sites and find a similar award-winning photo and at a low price that you wouldn't want to accept. Yes, there are dozens, even hundreds of photographers who have this picture available. You have to be lucky to win that race. But your luck will turn if you use the principles in this e-course. Remember, P equals B plus P plus S plus I. Picture equals background plus person plus symbol plus involvement. You put a model into your picture who becomes an agricultural worker taking data on sunflowers. You'll be much more successful making sales with a picture like this. While in the process of producing your marketable image, introduce a variety of hats, if only because one hat may add more to the composition than another. Also, you'll want to take both horizontal and vertical views. Are images uh, featuring fields of sunflowers a hopeless cause regarding sales potential for a stock photographer? Well, not necessarily. There might be a call for a photo of sunflowers in the fog, and you might have such a photo in your collection, both horizontal and vertical. When shooting a vertical composition, be sure to leave a dead space, uh, a dead area in the upper left or right to make your image a candidate to be selected as a cover. The layout designer will use this area for the masthead or cover lines. Should you aim for covers? Well, about 50 photos are used in the interior of an average book or magazine. There's only one cover. I've known a few photographers with their high-resolution digital cameras to exist on shooting covers only. However, the uh, numbers are better if you aim for interior sales and only an occasional cover. 
Okay, let's switch to a different time of the year and uh, give yourself what you could call uh, the self-assignment. An easy way to learn and practice how to make the marketable photo is to give yourself this uh, self-assignment. Here's a typical example. Okay, the proud teenager with his snowmobile. This uh, photo might serve as a popular family memento on top of the piano for grandma, but uh, it has no potential usage. Well, depending on your geographical location, you can set up a, a shoot or self-assignment. You start with an appropriate background, as you see here. So the challenge is uh, the person, the, in this case the teenager, is saying, my snowmobile is stuck in the snowbank. How do I get out of this situation? Well, help is on the way. Two good Samaritans happen to be strolling up the road. Now, you as the photographer, you might not even know these folks, but most strangers are happy to help in, pitch in, and be part of the photograph. Uh, this final picture is only uh, one the public will ever see. Check out uh, how this fits the criteria that we know now. The appropriate background, and then number two, the people are in there. Number three, the symbol, which is the snowmobile. And number four, the involvement. This photo is particularly marketable because it involves helping, a subject that photo buyers continually have a need for. Notice how the picture exhibits the important elements of a well-designed stock photo also. It's uh, bold and poster-like in design, and it's reasonably close up with the lower third available for typesetting. It might look unbalanced to you, but art directors and graphic artists, they just love this. They can put their typesetting in this snow area there. This photo would make a good cover or uh, even a chapter head. And the time involved here might be just about one hour. Your uh, potential lifetime sales value, though, is anywhere from $5,000 to uh, $10,000, $15,000. So there you have it, an example of how to build a marketable photo, one that photo buyers will recognize as a picture that they can relate to. You'll find other examples of how to build a marketable photo in the complete lesson. It's called Chapter 16 on our resource page at www.photosource.com resources.